Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to part 8 of the Resident Evil Zero playthrough. And we've got a date with hunters. So, oh, great. So that's why I just picked up the grenade launcher and I went back to save, just in case I happen to get the old snip snip of my throat getting cut. Can you imagine that I'm just waiting for the a classic Resident Evil, any Resident Evil game where they put both hunters and lickers in it? Oh, God. The lickers essentially replaced the hunters in Resident Evil 2. With their instant kills, the hunters didn't need to be in 2. <laughs> well, then again, the lickers are weaker because they're blind. Yeah, but they're, they're sound fucking, based. They're fucking lethal, though. Like, the best way to deal with them is to grab the shotgun. As soon as you round this corner. Oh, fuck. As soon as you round this corner, they fucking jump scare you. Wait for them to come to you. I cannot stress that enough. Because they can both. Both of them can and will fucking overwhelm you. Two acid shots. Oh, I've actually got flame rounds. Uh, oh. I don't think I went. Uh, seems like I didn't get the acid rounds for this. Uh, it's when they do a unique sand in the cla in the classic games where they do this unique sand that's them oh, dead. Oh, just barely out of reach of that. Um, you do realise it's close Fuck. range. It wasn't enough damage to kill it. Yeah, once they're that's close it. enough, they'll start slashing at you. That one slash he did, I'm really lucky he decided to move away from me after he did that, because usually they just start fucking stun-locking you after they hit you. What yeah. awesome music to play when you're reading a file. <laughs> <laughs> it's because the hunters haven't... It's because the hunter is in its death animation. It's not actually classed as dead yet, so... Yeah, most of the enemies in the game have specific music that play only plays when they show up. No, is this what Becca's, Rebecca's listening to her on her headphones while she's reading? <laughs> Ejecting a frog with a virus and resulting in an increase. Oh, Lee will love that. Oh, we'll see those things that was merged with monkeys' DNA. We'll see the frogs later. And you have every reason to fear them, Lee. <laughs> Especially in this game. Cylinder. No, it's a dial. Oh, those dials like with the numbers on them. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, th I thought it was a cylinder. And the file with all the hints about the numbers and stuff. You have no, wait, to a minute, out wait, the wait, wait a minute! Wait a minute! I saw that that the hunters bleed red, but didn't they bleed green in the past? Did they? I ah, recall in the PS3, the PS1 original, they did bleed green hmm. because the red the, the hunters are not exactly a third stage of a zombie. That's more the liquors. They're reptilian. They were created using reptilian DNA. Like the liquor was the ne was an evolution was the last stage in the evolution of a zombie. Yeah, where their eyes are straight up gone, <laughs> Not and you can see the brain. And you would think it would be a weak enemy, considering it's all the muscle and the skin are gone. Nope. It, no, trust me, the liquors are lethal. They can decapitate you. They can disembowel you. They can impale you with their tongues. They are not to be. They can climb on the ceilings as well. And they brought them back in five, but they were yeah, better they versions. Were better I'm versions. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I thought beta was supposed to be like prototypes. Yeah, and they're, and they seem to be, they're hyping the lackers up for the Resident Evil 2 remake as well, because we've only seen small teases of them in the revealed trailer and the announcement trailer. And wasn't there black versions of the lickers which are lots Super lackers. Super Later lackers. on in Resident Evil 2, you would find bigger versions of the lickers, and they did more damage. And uh, you would have to fight multiples sometimes as well. Well, the best way to take them out from what I've seen is that, is to grab the shotgun, walk up slowly to them, aim downward, okay. and boom. Yeah, they, yeah, they crawl around on the ground. Is so well, what they do is that when they fall, they fall on the back and they flip right back up so they can get you right into your aim aside again. Yeah, they can also jump at you from a distance as well. That's actually an instant kill attack in RE5 where they'll pin you to the floor and then stab you through the chest. But wasn't there a QTE at that point? Yeah. yeah. And if you missed it in solo playing mercenaries, that was your dead. Because you cannot break free of that yourself. But if you had a partner, he can shoot it off. No, but that's the sort of thing I really don't like when there's no fail safe for that sort of thing. It literally, it's it's bad game design. Now, I was expecting that zombie to be up yet, but miraculously, it's not. It's usually up by now. Wait, do we have the dial? Unfortunately, we have to go out again and run by our good old friend, the leech zombie. <laughs> From a distance, the leech zombies can smack you with their arms. So, as we saw earlier when I tried to get that one key item. So, when they mute, when you first see them, they're imitating Marcus, but when they mutate, do they stay in that mutate for the rest of the time? Yeah, once they, once they have their darker leech form, they stay like that permanently. 
there's actually one leech that shows up, one leech zombie that shows up like this later on as well in the last area. Before and let me guess the the numbers we read in the file in the previous part. That's the code, isn't it? Yeah. So what was it? Eight. Four eight six three. And Four. yes, I had a note planned for this as well. <laughs> Hey, would you rather me be stuck on this for an annoying amount of time? Well, what would you be doing this game? No, but, no, you wouldn't. No, what would you if you recorded this live? Can... You would have to remember by heart. No, I just have the notebook to the side anyway. <laughs> you just hear me flapping for the paper. Cheater. <laughs> oh, it says the pepper break. <laughs> cable so car. Wasn't there a cable car in Resident Evil 2, actually? No, uh, you're probably that think... just the train? No, you're probably thinking of the train in Resident Evil 3. Which was your long-term goal? Your first main long-term mm -hmm. goal. I know. Uh, where was? Where did the tyrant shove its hands through the ceiling in Resident Evil Two? Was it? Was it in the factory or? Because I know you were factory. in some sort of contraption. Well, like Mr. That's... X, that was Leon, more Leon's problem than Claire's. Yeah. Claire was dealing with the Chief and William. Was there much difference between the B and A scenarios, actually? Because I know you don't get the final boss with Barcoon's blob form if, unless you're playing B scenario. I'm not 100% sure, but cannot, canically, it's Claire A, Leon B. Yeah. And now, now we picked up the out... Uh, was it output regulator or input? Uh, doesn't matter, it's a regulator. <laughs> <laughs> now, these two key items we have to put into the top. Now that we've m pulled that lever... And we've actually got the ladder there. We can now go up and down from the oh, floors. Oh, hello, Becky. Uh, hi there. <laughs> Becky, can I give this to you? My inventory's kind of full. Okay. Okay. But it's me again. Last time, I swear. <laughs> because the door, and you're probably wondering, why have I not gone into that room right there? It's fucking locked. And the only way to reach it is with a hook shot. Don't tell me you have what well, you have to fire the hook shot from a distance and pull the door open. No, <laughs> that'd be some shit. Why don't we just kick the fucking thing down? Last time, I swear. No, it's not as funny as was it Nari Six, where we've been kicking down you and I've yeah. been kicking down doors <laughs> like, exactly the same, and then Chris just <laughs> wastes, wastes a C four on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> now that crate, that that crate of shotgun shells is pretty easy to mess if you rush for that's because the camera angles will change and you might not see it and so make sure you grab them and also make sure belly has some weapons that he'll need for later because we're actually about to get separated what happened to your sentence structure that you went get some weapons <laughs> <laughs> shut up leave the shotgun with belly because you'll need it later and we are going to be really hurting for inventory spaces soon because we're actually about to get separated from Belly. Again? Yeah. But I only just reunited with you. <laughs> Why are you carrying the grenade launcher? It's empty. I think I do drop it actually soon. I, I'm not sure. It's been Is this your long. way of thinking you're going zigzagging? Yeah. <laughs> like, should I leave it? Should I take it? Should I leave it? Should I take it? No, zigzagging for the zombies <laughs> while managing the inventory. That'd be amazing if you could actually manage your inventory while moving, like in Remake 2. Like, players dodging zombies while managing and managing. No, inventory. I don't think... Well, since people don't like the whole real-time inventories in 5 and 6, I don't think they'll do that. I know what you mean, but you know how some games where if you, like, bring up your inventory, you're still able to move? Can you imagine how awesome that would be to see some a really good player dodge through like four or five zombies while their inventory while they're managing their inventory and combining all this these uh, ammo and items and stuff? Then you put the tube in there, don't you? Yeah, both of the regulator coil items go here, and that's the cable car powered up. Yay! But I bet you something's gonna happen before you can go. We'll see. Because the game wouldn't be that Much easy, Much like the world right? of The Walking Dead, everything goes to shit in it sooner or later. They actually revealed the Season 9 poster for that. Rick looks a bit different. No, he's got a haircut, for one thing. He still has the beard. He's essentially back to Season 1. And if you're wondering why I'm on caution status there, it's because I had to go back for an item on the bottom floor and fucking... The hookshot? No, we... I don't know what it was, but I had to go back for something, and the fucking leech zombie cheap-shotted me. 
when I was out there. Because as you've seen, the leech zombies... Oh, am I putting you asleep? <laughs> <laughs> the leech zombie was at, right outside the doorway. Again. And so I took unavoidable damage. Oh, ah! it's, it's the fucking monkeys! Ah! At least it's only one. That doesn't count, right? No. <laughs> Thankfully not. <laughs> <laughs> if it did, that'd be bullshit. No, I can see Veronica doing that sort of pish. <laughs> There's another nice. kind of pointless FMV moment. Why not just have this be the end game engine cutscene graphics? This is a leap zombie, isn't it? Yeah. <gasps> oh no, it's the cameraman! <laughs> <laughs> No, the cable car shut down again. Why? You're about to find out. Oof. I was just barely out of reach of that. You see what I mean about <laughs> how far they can uh, reach? And then it knocks you off the ladder. <laughs> no, nope, we're not playing RE6. No, it pulls you down. No, oh, I hope not. Hmm. Kind of like how in one time we were doing another practice run in Quest Chapter 2, Jake knocked you off the stairs. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> I literally went to start climbing up the ladder and then I'm flat on my back. <laughs> yeah. Huh? That's totally Seriously, it fell off? This totally isn't fucking padding at all. You fucking no, kidding me. No, the leeches me. literally took it out. You remember you were talking about at the start of the game? Ah. Uh, now you get your answer as to when the leeches actually do something. Hmm. But yeah, this is just this is just padding. Seriously, this is there's no reason for this. It's just annoying. Is that why you stomped on all the leeches before you Aye. put the switch back in? Aye, because they're wasting my time. That's another part where the alternate controls and camera do not go well together. That part where you're going through the little gate, kind of gate-like part there to the walkway. <laughs> and... Surprise! Oh, I was just barely out of range of that. Get in the car! <laughs> the controls were fucking up. <laughs> alternate controls plus camera do not mix. Just use the fucking D-pad. And now we're on our own. That's not good. Especially with Becky's shit health. But wait! Magnum. Oh, 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 oh. oh, lovely lady for a lovely weapon for a lovely lady. Steven's way with the ladies, folks. Back to the Trish outfit. Oh, yeah. Because nothing makes that Magnum even more stylish than this outfit. <laughs> so now we're on our own. Let me guess, the Magnum. Powerful, but very, powerful. very, 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 but very rare ammo for it. One shot kill on hunters. Wow. Yeah, there's a, there's a reason why everyone saves the weapon for those fuckers. <laughs> it was kind of annoying to get in Remake, though, because <laughs> you had to solve, like, a, a pretty long puzzle. And that was me, and that was me thinking the acid runs were one shot kills against hunters. They just do the more. They just do high damage because they're coded to do that type of damage. So the Magnum is hands down the most powerful. Like they say, the acid runs are the best counter weapons for like BOWs. Yeah, and living creatures like the G embryo in Resident Evil Two. Look, a fucker who spat out all the parasites and stuff that will latch onto you and leave mm. you wide open. I wonder how disgusting that thing's gonna look in the remake. Not to find that that came out of the, the corrupted chief police. Yeah, just from body. just from a small embryo mm -hmm. that Barkin's mutated form implanted in him. Because that's how the G virus worked. You guys, and speaking of anyone, if you guys played Resident Evil Two, you might remember this place. We're in the factory now. Actually, this is the same. I believe the same save room from Resident Evil Two. Actually, how? I what, the exact place, same loca location, or is this just... Yeah, the factory, at the bottom. Of, it, it's in Outbreak 1 as well, by the way. Are you, just, are you sure it's not one of these where Umbrella just happens to rebuild a lab that looks identical to no, the other? No, this is the same factory from Resident Evil 2. Alright. Can't, can't, unlike our, Revelation, our Revelations play for the... Is that the Queen... Wait, 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 we haven't reached that part yet in the commentary, so... <laughs> Don't spoil it. <laughs> this elevator... Yeah, this is kind of small. <laughs> and noisy. Once you get to... Once you complete this area, you won't be able to go back into this room, so make sure you have everything... Is this the train you... elevator? Yeah, I believe so. What, from R2? From R2, that one we Yeah, bought. it's factory. Mm -hmm. so must be the same. Are we going to see a giant moth? No. 
This is where I nearly died for the first time in my hard mode playthrough. Let me guess. The frogs? No. Something worse, actually. Hunters. Hunters! Two of them. Now, in my hard mode playthrough, I missed my first shot there. And I had to backtrack to where I just picked up that key. And I put down an item. I got stunlocked into danger status. And if I did not have invincibility frames when picking up the item, I would have died for the very first time. But you saw how fast that came out, yeah. that hunter? But yeah, like, I've had a lot of practice at this game. I've still yet to actually get a game over in this. Like, I've come close several times, but oh man. <laughs> but I bet you the one point you're not looking forward to is the puzzles, because you said once you're not a puzzle guy. Puzzles are my weakness. <laughs> it's ironic, given the Uncharted games. I love those. I'll find those, yeah, just saving there. Because we have another boss fight coming up soon. Those and as you can see, we're really hurting for inventory spaces now. <laughs> yeah, this is the yeah, train elevator. Yeah, the exact same area as Resident Evil 2. Huh. This is where you would spend the entirety of one of the scenarios in Outbreak, File 1, and as well. Like, you would wait, fight another T-Embryo so mutation how, here. So how far is the, the city? How far is it from the mansion? Not very far away, I would say. Yeah, this is where... Uh, huh, the guard, the guard decided to go on break and took his anger on the chair there. Was it here where wannabe Predator Birkin would attack you, or was that yeah. just a different version of him? No, I believe in if you did clear A, you would go here, put Sherry in the train, mm -hmm. and then you had to fight Birkin outside the elevator as it's descending. Did his form change depending on which campaign you played? I think so. Because I think Leon had to fight his like mutated form with a giant eye in the middle of the I suit. believe so. I think the first fight time you fight him as Claire is when he's got the forearms. Yeah, that's his... Like, and when he's clad in And his, his head is arm. down where his ribcage is. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's just his first form. The first thing, time you fight him No, that's actually, his third one. Oh. Fart? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I thought that was his first. No, the first is when he's just got that big eye on his shoulder. And he's got the pipe. And he's got the pipe, yeah. yeah. That was insta kill if he hit you with, by the way, I believe. Enrico! Yeah. What? Yeah. Are you okay, Rico? Well, he won't be by the time we get to him in remake. Haven't you seen them? A lot of people say that if it come when it comes to that fan casting live action Resident Evil, they would say the guy who if you the guy who played um Senator Bale or Ghana and Star Wars would be a good fit for Enrico. Maybe. Episode 3 one? Yeah, the yeah. senator. I would say so. No point worrying about him. You won't make it. Come on, let's go. Sir, please. I need to find him. I'm loving. Uh, no. <laughs> Alright. So, why not just tell him right then and there that Billy's innocent? He probably, he probably won't listen. Well, he's just taking the time to listen to her there, so... And how did you magically change clothes? <laughs> now, there's you can't go anywhere else in this area. If you go in there, it'll say... Yeah, this is, no, this is the place from Resident Evil 2. The exact same place from Resident Evil 2. Which makes you think, why didn't they make a Resident Evil 2 remake with this? Right. Mind you, Maybe what they did... if the fixed angles are still in. Who knows? Who knows, I... I would like the option. I would like if they give us the option to give us three different camera styles. I think we'll get more info on that at maybe Tokyo Game Show in September. San Diego Comic Con. What the fuck? One of the staples of a series. Tyrant. Yeah, this one is incomplete though. Basically, you... ladies and gentlemen, the, ty the Tyrant is a exceptionally powerful BOW developed by Umbrella. This one was this a one, failed... Well, for example, this one's giving you the finger. This one was a failed experiment. <laughs> Look at it twitching, though. That's kind no, of it's unsettling. giving you the finger. <laughs> that twitching is kind of unsettling, actually. Let me guess. He hurts like a bastard. Yes. He has a dash attack that will floor you. On hard mode, he hits you twice with that as Becky. And then one more tiny little tap. And that's it. Define tiny. Well, just stubbing your toe. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, we have to fight this thing. There's oh, a barrel there. On. No, you can't shoot the barrel, unfortunately. Aww. We're not playing Resident Evil 3. Shoot a few... Use a few magnum rounds, but... Is he not invinci Does he not have invincibility frames when no, he's doing that twitching? No, the damage does count. 
I am trying to save my last magnum shot for it. Oh! If, you, if you're not equipped with a weapon, you can run slightly faster and get a random. Well, at least Capcom decided to pay good attention to his arse. Uh, yeah, there's not, there's not all my magnum ammo here, because I was kind of worried there after getting hit by that. I have, when I did this on hard mode, I didn't take any damage. You would think for the, the tyrant, it, its weakness is its heart, because it's just yeah. exposed there. But I'll probably do that for like remake two or something with Master X when he mutates. But basically, grab some, get some distance, and fire off a few shots. Then when he wait for him to start charging like that, uh, before he does so, unequip your weapon. That's him. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> for now, anyway, we'll see him again later. Do you get anything for defeating him? No. Oh. You have to defeat this thing both times. It appears as well in order to progress. Where's the blood? I don't see blood. <laughs> Too bad. Oh, you want your blood? Go play Resident Evil 2 or 3. Well, that's the tradition <laughs> at this point. You think when you see blood, that's it. He's not moving. Now, level... Which one? Level 2. Yeah, level... I go here for one thing only. Magnum ammo. Let me guess, you only find five bullets for the magnum. No. Actually, you know where we got the... The parts for the handgun, the the parts for the handgun actually. There's only one magnum bullet in there. <laughs> Don't go down that hallway to the bottom left there. There's a hunter down there. Just grab the magnum Wait. ammo and get out. Hmm. So yeah, just I think there's a healing item at the very end of that, but uh, yeah, you have to deal with a hunter. <laughs> so I would rather have the magnum bullets. Thank you. Level four. Level four. Level three takes you back to the train wreck, and it'll be filled with zombies, by the way. So don't go back there. Playtime is over. You Are you still sitting here, Sephiroth? You tell me he's sitting here doing fuck all. Yeah, <laughs> he's not doing anything. Will stop me from my what revenge? You did fuck Do all. Do something then. Leave. <laughs> go and attack. I don't know. Spencer. He did send a leech zombie after us earlier, but. <laughs> didn't didn't really do much. Go after Spencer or Wesker or Birkin. For that matter. Just sitting there. Another FMV here. There's Belly. Fuck. Oh, okay, came What the? Something's in there. That is the absolute bane of your existence in the final area of this game. I'll explain what it is when we get to it. And yes, Ooh. it has an instant kill attack. Wow, Belly's having a really shit day. <laughs> you're afraid for murder and then get fucking swept away. Is this going to be a reason why you're going to quit the Magnum? Yeah. <laughs> I don't go anywhere in this area coming up soon without the Magnum on at least one of my characters. Now, the power is out in order to restart. <laughs> it's like Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> or, like, zombies in general, the power's all Oh, there. it's a sword type of puzzle now. Uh, Good luck. Now, let me just say right now, I fucked this up at least twice. Because I wasn't paying attention to my notes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm man enough to admit so that I So, what is it you have to do? Basically, you get three button presses to apply power to the entire grid, which will then... Power so you up have, the entire so you have area. to. So all the red lights have to become green. Yeah, with three button presses. <laughs> and here's me realizing. Shit. No, this is where you realize you live here, no pad, and you don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was reading it, but I read I like read one part the wrong way and did another step afterwards. So that's two. So the third has to be on the right somewhere. Ah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't see you do any better. Oh, wait. You can't. Do you get it this hell, time? I've, hell, I have not died a single time in this game still to this day. You'd probably die. You'd have probably died in this by now. <laughs> Count with me, kids. One, <laughs> two. I think it's the... I think it's the one at the middle top left there. Free! Ah, ah, ah. I fucking. These puzzles are so annoying! And that powers up the entire treatment facility. 
with that, we'll venture on to new dangers in the next part.